Valentine's Day. What's so happy about it? It's all about love and somebody loving you. It's depressing. I thought it was 7.30, but your watch says it's, oh, 8 o'clock. I am not hating. But when Arnaz slept with his secret hoochie, he pulled my heart out of my chest and twisted it into a pretzel, which has been salted by my tears. <laughs> oh, hey, you. Happy Valentine's Day. I got you these Valentine's Day cards. Oh, how nice. Thank you. Oh, it's going to be like old times, the three of us spending Valentine's Day together. By three of us, you must mean you, Brianna, and a Sandra Bullock movie. <laughs> because I have a date. A date? But I thought we were hanging out on Valentine's Day. We are, for Valentine's Day. My date is on Valentine's night. <laughs> so while the sun's out, I'm all yours, Valentine. <laughs> I'll wait in the car. We got five minutes until school. I don't need his pity or his Snoopy Valentine. <laughs> I think he's being sweet in his own big-headed way. Ooh, ooh, I got Franklin the black guy on mine. <laughs> You know what? I've had enough of sweet. That's how they get you. Sweet guys pull you in, making you think they're never gonna hurt you. At least with a bad boy, you know what you're gonna get. What, a high-speed car chase? <laughs> yes, but on the highway of passion, <laughs> you do. <laughs> Sometimes in the slide, you can feel all by yourself. Okay, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself. When there's nobody around uh, oh yeah. I'll be there to think and then Why don't you love where you go? Maybe you can get some more Maybe one on one, one uh, on one yeah. Can't nobody break this bond yeah. Maybe one on you one, one. You one, one, one. Now one, we have one, a fun yeah. One on one, one yeah. One yeah. on one Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, so you have five minutes before I have to get to work Hey, thanks, Lex I need to get Candy's Valentine's gift. I hid it here so she wouldn't find it. Oh, you hid it in her workstation. Oh, she'd never look there. Man, you say that like I'm stupid or something. I didn't hide her gift here. I hid a note to myself telling me where her gift was hidden in case I forgot. Which I did. Man, what are you doing wearing my girlfriend's Valentine's gift? I found a note that said, candy in the closet. So naturally, you went to the closet and opened up the box that said candy. Naturally. But when I saw there were no confectionery delights, I instead adorned this delightful frock. <laughs> Man, well, close up your frock because your delights are showing. Man, look, you ruined this. I can't give it to candy because every time she puts it on, I'll see your face. Hey, so what are you doing here? I got kicked out, Flex. My girlfriend Peaches caught me cheating with her sister Cherry. <laughs> oh, what a jam you're in. Well, you can't stay here, man. Oh, come on, Flex, help me out. I just need a couple of weeks so I can find my own place. Ace, if you needed a robe, you should have asked me. I have one hanging up in my spare bedroom. Three, two, one. Um. Wait a minute. You need a place to stay and I'm broke. Why don't I find you a place to live and charge you a finder's fee? Yeah, I can use my spare room as an office. Allow me to cut through the brain damage. <laughs> Why don't you let Ace move in with you and you two can split the rent? Huh, all right. But I still want my finder's fee. <laughs> you, sir, have a deal. Oh, great. The awning fell again. Just something else I'm going to have to get fixed before I sell this place. Oh, good morning, Flex. Welcome. Have a seat. What can I get you? Some kimchi, maybe some bibimbap, or a breakfast burrito. <laughs> We're trying a few new things. <laughs> Thanks, you, but I already had breakfast. I just came by to talk to you about the awning out front. Well, they used to be out front. Oh, it fell down again? Ah, serves us right for using a company called Good Awning America. <laughs> yeah, maybe that other company, What's Going Awnings, will be better. Yeah, I'll call and get an estimate. You're a good businessman, Flex. I only hope whoever buys your shop is as good a neighbor as you. Or is a hot chick. <laughs> hey, Sue, what's that? Hey, Flex. Sue! What do I keep telling you about keeping your hair out of your face? You are not Lucy Lou. <laughs> yes, Appa. Ah, uh, now there's my little girl. <laughs> Oh, 
my father. He's so old-fashioned. Even though I'm 25, he still thinks of me as his little girl. Well, happy father thinks of his daughter as a little girl. Well, you don't see me as a little girl, do you, Flex? Well, luckily, I'm not your father. <laughs> Are you flirting with me? Well, that depends. If you like it, yes. If you don't, then I'm just stating a fact. I'm really not your father. <laughs> glad when Valentine's Day is over. Ooh, look at them. Can y'all take them to the boiler room like a normal couple? <laughs> Excuse you. Oh, my bad. Here you go. Rihanna. the way that guy Nightmare looked at you? You saw it too? I felt a total connection. Oh my God, the whole hallway felt it. Everyone's talking about it. Really? No. <laughs> you girls should hear yourselves talk sometime. It's really immature. Dude, I heard you totally let one go in history class. You rock, dude. Look at Nightmare. Oh, slim and shady. Word is, he's trouble. And I hear he rides <laughs> oh, maybe that's what I need. Somebody dangerous. Cover me. I'm going in. <laughs> hey, Nightmare. Um, I just want to thank you for picking up my books. Ain't no thing. They were on the ground, weren't they? <laughs> <laughs> so? He's so rude. I think I love him. <laughs> Cover me. I'm going back in. <laughs> hey, Nightmare. Um, we're in the same chemistry class, and Ms. Newport said we had to pick lab partners, so do you want to be partners? For sure, for sure. Uh, how about your place tonight? I'll bring the books, and you bring the looks. <laughs> for sure, for sure. <laughs> hey. Yoon, I got the estimates for that awning. Let me know what you think. Oh, no, 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 no. This time, you stay and eat. It's customary to treat a friend like family. OK, and it's customary for me never to turn down free food. Twice. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Flex. What are you doing here alone on Valentine's Day? Well, why don't you join me? That way, I won't be alone. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, tell me, what am I about to eat? Okay. This is kimchi, fermented vegetables. In Korea, they love it so much, they even have a festival for it. Oh, kind of like our ham hocks parade down Pratt Street. <laughs> <laughs> now, try this one. Shile hamnida. Shile hamnida. What does that mean? Excuse me? Oh, you mean like, say what? <laughs> <laughs> so, how does a uh, date with me compare to your usual dates? This is a date? Well, we just enjoyed a lovely meal by candlelight. We've spent the last hour engrossed in stimulating conversation, and we're all alone. Well, I've only dated Korean guys. And one Puerto Rican guy who was passing as a Korean. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so if uh, this was a date with a Korean guy, what would you do next? I don't know if you're ready for that. <laughs> we united better than you sing. I do everything better than I sing. <laughs> Sue! Atta! What are you doing? Yoon, we were just- I'm not talking to you! Sue, what are you doing? This is Ramon all over again! <laughs> but Flex and I- I do not approve of this! You know I don't want you with someone like him! He's bad for you! 
실례합니다. Excuse me, June, when you say you don't want to with someone like me, what exactly are you implying? What do you think? I offer you food and you make a meal out of my daughter. Dad, please! Oh, I get it. I'm not good enough to date your daughter, but I'm good enough to pay for half your awning. Oh, keep the awning! Lex, I'm sorry. I know, it's not your fault, Sue. And June, that awning, it was going to be retractable. <laughs> Perfect Valentine's Day? Me, you, the periodic table. <laughs> Too bad we got a test on Monday. I'll be all over you like Russ at the oxidation. <laughs> I, is that good? Girl with me, it's all good. I can't believe my lab partner dumped me on Valentine's Day. I might as well stop shaving altogether. <laughs> Can I study with you guys? Yeah, 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 sure. Let's all go to the library. Okay, and then maybe afterwards, we can go to this pizza place, right? Because they have really great pizza, and I really oh. like their pizza. Yeah. It's really good pizza. <laughs> now, back to our chemistry. Isn't it ironic that we would be studying that subject? Ironic? Why? Because we have so much chemistry. <laughs> That's a coincidence, not irony. Huh? Irony is the characterization or expression of disdainful humor. Yo. Wait a minute. Hold up. You know stuff. I thought you were a thug. Oh, so I can't be smart? No. You're supposed to be mean and tough. Oh, so you want me to step to you like, like, come here, shorty. You fronting on me? No, you it's not. <laughs> hey, man, get off my door, no. man. Get off my door. <laughs> Hit him in the face, Diana. Hit him in the face. No. Let me go. I didn't do anything. No, Daddy's not. Nightmare? Yeah, but with a why? Nightmare? No, no, Daddy, you don't get it. No, I'm getting plenty. Night, night, nightmare. What can we see? Let's go, go. Daddy, how could you? Let's see, I came in, saw a thug on my daughter, threw him out. That's pretty simple. But, Daddy, we were just studying chemistry and playing around. Well, I didn't see the studying part. It's the playing around that I'm worried about. But I was just... But nothing. Now I'm your father, and I know what's best for you, and it's definitely not that Mary boy. <laughs> you are grounded. Thanks for ruining my life. You're welcome. <laughs> so you, you move the couch in front of the door. Yeah, no more annoying walks across the room. <laughs> then you move the fridge by the couch. <laughs> thus cutting down on more unnecessary walking. <laughs> Therefore, we buy less shoes. Exactly. So you like it? <laughs> no! <laughs> Man, this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Change it all back. Well, can I keep the microwave by the tub? Yeah, try it in the tub. <laughs> With you in it. Is it my turn to walk the yard? Brianna, I know you're upset about your little thug friend, Nightlight. But I just don't want you to get into that whole bad boy syndrome. Bad isn't better. For your information, Daddy, he's not a thug. He's smart. I don't care how smart he is. I'm your father, and I didn't raise you to, to hang out with a boy like that. And what kind of boy is that? A boy with tattoos? A boy with an earring? A teenage father? He has a kid, too? No, Daddy. I was describing you. Sue, you shouldn't be here. One second, thug, come on in. Where are you going? I'm furious with my dad. I'm gonna find my own place. Are you sure you want to do that? I'm tired of him telling me who I can go out with. If I want, I'll go out with that little crazy guy who lays on the ground and smells our food from underneath the door. Dwayne? Yeah, that's him. So I'm, I'm sorry all this happened. I'm not. Look, I had a great time with you, and I'm willing to give up my family for that. Uh, I mean, I know I'm a great kisser, uh, dashing, charming, successful. 
But am I worth leaving your family for? I mean, probably, but you shouldn't. It's not just you, Flex. He doesn't get me. The style of my hair, the length of my skirts, the music I listen to. I told him I want to see Lil' Kim for my birthday. He flew in my cousin from Korea. So, I just don't want to feel responsible for driving a wedge between you and your father. Come on. What do you want, Flex? We have no fresh daughter on the menu today. I came to talk to you, you. Now, we have more in common than you think. Oh, you mean we both want to stab you in the heart with a chopstick? <laughs> Listen, I know it's in our natures to want to protect our daughters. But there comes a time when, when we have to trust that we've given them the tools to decide what's best for themselves. Sue is first generation Flex. To you, it means first generation American. To me, it means first generation in danger of losing its culture. Hey, I can respect that. But ask yourself, what's worse? Our daughters losing their cultures? Or us losing our daughters? Sue, come back home. You have to let me live my life. I'm still going to date Flex, or whomever else I choose. I just don't want you to forget where you're from. Abba, I'm proud of who we are. Hmm. But I have to be free to make my own choices. Isn't that why you came to this country? No, that's why I stayed. I came for spring break. <laughs> <laughs> you're not so bad, Flex. Back at you, you. I'm sorry I treated you so shabbily, Flex. Yeah, you said, uh, treat your friends like family. <laughs> you should hear what some of my cousins call me. <laughs> Arnez, chemistry is not that hard. Look, AG is silver. And just think of a silver necklace. What do we say to people with silver necklaces? AG. Can't you afford gold? <laughs> cool. I'm glad you switched lab partners with me. Mine was so useless. She thought a test tube was a baby. Yeah, well, at least you wanted to leave your lab partner. I had no choice. He wasn't the right guy for you anyway. I mean, right, lab partner. <laughs> Night nine, night sweat, night court, whatever your name is. Mr. Washington, I know you don't want me here, but I just came by to get my chemistry book. Look, man, I, I know I was a little hard on you earlier, but to a father, you don't make the best first impression. I mean, the way you talk, the way your, your pants sag off your behind, man, pull them up. <laughs> and, and, and your name, your name doesn't help. Come on, man, my real name is Clayton. But that don't play in Cherry Hill. <laughs> Whatever. But my daughter seems to think you're an okay guy. So I'm gonna go with that. Until you give me a reason to think otherwise. Don't give me a reason to think otherwise, Clayton. Look, there is something I want to say. Brianna, ever since you and I got together and almost, you know, I just want to say, um... Daddy, Nightmare, what's going on? Nightmare forgot his chemistry book, and uh, I thought you two might want to hang out a bit. Really? What's the catch? I trust you. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> um, you know what? I better go. Oh, well, what were you going to say? I was just going to say, happy belated Valentine's Day.
back. All right, thanks, man. Sure. I just want you to be comfortable in your own home. I know I sure am. <laughs> and since WYNX implemented its minority hiring program in 1995, we've seen a steady rise in our audience and sales. And an increase in our marketplace value. Not to mention the value of those luscious legs. <laughs> Ooh, girl, they're so fine, they make me jealous of your pantyhose. <laughs> Flex, now we have two days to prepare for the Eastern Broadcasters Conference. Now, if we nail this, it will open the door for extra funding. So keep your eyes off the prize. <laughs> Dwayne, has my pillow wronged you in some way? <laughs> no, nah, yeah, I was just fluffing it for you, dog. And then the fluff, <laughs> fluff, fluff. Yana, what was that? It wasn't the window in your room you told me not to open because it's painted shut. Uh, Y'all excuse me while I check on Brianna and my supply of almond massage oil. <laughs> You're not allergic to nuts, are you, girl? <laughs> That's it. Either you're gonna have to ugly yourself up or I'm gonna gouge his eyes out. You have to tell him about us. Look, Dwayne, flirting is part of our professional relationship. He flirts, I resist. Don't worry. My heart belongs to you, Cookie Toes. Oh. <laughs> Let me give your papa some sugar. <laughs> oh, well, well. Come out for a butter knife and get a little taste of the Spice Channel. <laughs> Brianna, you promise not to tell your father. Oh, don't worry, my lips will remain sealed. Oh, and by the way, there's a little Bow Wow concert next month, and Front Row Center will be divine. <laughs> you an evil little girl. Oh, I get my license next year. You ain't seen nothing yet, car man. Sometimes in the start, you can feel all by yourself. Yeah, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. Uh -huh. Yeah. I'll be back to thick and thin. What a true love we are born. Maybe one on one, one on one. Can't nobody break this bond. Maybe one on one. Let's just be good. Now we have a fair one. One on one. All right, now let's go over the rules for the weekend while I'm up at the broadcasters conference. Come on, Daddy, I'm 15. If we were in Kathmandu, I would have a husband and five kids by now. <laughs> Brianna, the rules, quickly. Home by eight, doors bolted, windows locked, no boys, parties, or any type of social gatherings. And what's the most important rule? No, no getting, getting pregnant. pregnant. Right. <laughs> Dad will be as saintly as heathens come the apocalypse. I told you going to Sunday school would pay off. <laughs> You know the thing about heathens is? They always lie. <laughs> Party! Wait! Wait! <laughs> what is all this? <laughs> Aloha, my little mahi, mahi. <laughs> Crazy baby, this is so sweet of you. Well, <laughs> remember how a couple of months ago we talked about flying to Hawaii, and then you reminded me of that violent reaction you have to sunlight. What's what's that called again? Chronic polymorphic light dermatosis. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> At first I thought you were lying, but then I remembered we've never been out together in the daylight. So <laughs> we're going native, right here under the safe, soothing rays of my fluorescent lights. <laughs> With that man, he's like a sex terminator. Get it, get it. <laughs> oh, oh, Dwayne, you dumb. <laughs> Did you hook up with the Samoan girl with the prosthetic leg? Uh, uh, yeah, she's uh, in the bathroom right now, making sure her uh, her knees line up. Uh, <laughs> all right, cool. I just came to get my suitcase borrowed, and I will get out of your little Polynesian pickup joint. <laughs> all right. <laughs> 
<laughs> so it was uh, everything set to knock their socks off at the conference? Oh, I'm all set to knock off something, man. Ever since me and Stacy been working together on this thing, I'm telling you, dog, we've been clicking like your mama's false teeth. <laughs> I don't know about this, Flex. I mean, office romances are always bad news. You know what they say, never fish off the company pier. <laughs> Dwayne, we are two professionals who respect each other's intelligence and nakedness. <laughs> no, I'm counting the minutes until you get back from your grandma's, Natasha. No, I miss you more. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Are you as disgusted as I am? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. All right, now let's go over this one more time. All right, it's a knock at the door. Homeless man with an axe standing there naked. What do you do? Give him a sandwich and a blanket. That's right, because the only thing he's trying to kill is his hunger pain. <laughs> now, there's a guy with a bat and a shank at the fire escape. Start running, but if he catches up, trip spirit. <laughs> That's my girl. And he needs to get out of here, because I don't trust him. I take that back. He's no longer a threat. <laughs> Okay, you got the guest list, I got the refreshments, and now all we need is music. Girl, your love is a gas thing that ignites the pistons of my soul. Get off the phone! <laughs> yes, them. The haters. <laughs> you boopy whoopy loves you too, Spooky Woogie. It's like he's possessed. How long is this little crush on Natasha gonna last? Girl, you know our Naz falls quickly. He fell for you at first sight. Well, that's me. I got that kind of power. <laughs> so what, you can't come to the party? Your little brother has a recital. Oh, well, I don't have to go to the party. I'm sure she can find another DJ. What? Girl, watch me use my power. Um, Arnez, sweetie, I need to talk to you about being the DJ at my party. Uh, Brianna, I'm not finished yet. Peace out, Spooky Woogie. <laughs> now, you're finished. What's her problem? Power failure. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Flex, we kicked butt. Yeah. <laughs> and when you told those station managers to step foot into the 21st century, I was at the mountaintop. <laughs> yeah, well, when you told them to take those steps with some brown feet besides them, you had them speaking in tongues. Oh, man. <laughs> Look, the point is, you really came through for the station, Flex. We are bound to get that funding now. Ooh, that would be the bubbly. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, champagne and chocolate-covered strawberries. Looks like you're bringing out the big guns. Oh, uh, you'll know when I bring out the big guns. <laughs> <laughs> in 10 minutes, we're gonna have a stream of hotties up in here, and everybody's gonna want an audience with the girl who made the cocktail weenies. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, uh, somebody's here early, weenie girl. <laughs> Ooh, no, never mind, just a jumbo shrimp. <laughs> Uh, Dwayne, what are you doing here? Uh, your what? dad asked me to stop by and check in on you and your adolescent shenanigans. But we're not doing anything. Oh, is that so? No. Oh, I see some sodas. Oh, I see some napkins. I see some pumpkin seeds. Either you're planning a party or an AA meeting. <laughs> Dwayne, please don't ruin this for me. I'm not gonna ruin anything for you. I'm just gonna sit here, uh, kick off my shoes, sit back, and soak in the festivities. <laughs> You know, Dwayne, only a trusted man could leave my daddy alone with Stacy in a romantic hotel for a whole long, long moonlit night. A long, sultry, beckoning night. <laughs> now, I know what you're doing not gonna work. Nothing would make me ignore my godfatherly duties. I trust Stacy. Okay. <laughs> Why, right, y'all hear something? No, in fact, my daddy's been so busy, he hasn't even checked in with me yet. And the only time my daddy doesn't check in with me is when he's... Ooh. No, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Nothing's gonna happen. Stacy promised me nothing would. I don't know. I saw him packing two bottles of his good cologne. The Burberry. Not the Burberry. <laughs> what time is it, Spirit? Time to get our party. Music 
right now. Louis, what are you doing here? I don't remember inviting you. Oh, you did? Dutch told me to come. You know Dutch, right? The guy that knocked me out last week. Lost a tooth. Wanna see? <laughs> Winnie. Oh, you know Winnie's on amalgamation of pork products with a hint of rat hair? <laughs> oh, Arnest, I am so glad you're here. Oh, uh, so are we. We? Yeah. Hey, everybody. <laughs> uh, what happened to little Bobby's recital? Oh, who cares? He's only a half-brother. <laughs> He can't soothe my soul like my man. I'm here for him all evening. Oh. All right. The lady knows what she wants. Come on. <laughs> she's a maniac, maniac on the floor. And she's dancing like she's never danced before. Ah! Wet me, Flex! <laughs> Yes. Um, Lex, I can't. Oh, uh, what's wrong? We're having fun. The mood is right. I like you. We both like me. <laughs> okay, Flex, look, I'm seeing somebody, all right? Technically, I'm seeing somebody. And right now, I'm seeing them tied up and being tickled with a feather. <laughs> I'm, s I'm serious, Flex, and he happens to be a very sweet and loving man. Okay, we've had Christmas parties, office picnics, and an annual bull roast. And I haven't met this guy. Why are you hiding him? Is he wanted by the law? <laughs> is he a victim of a chemical accident? <laughs> or is he just a loser? He's an international businessman. Oh, really? Business, huh? What kind? Quickly. Uh, uh, import, uh, export, textiles, commodities, pork bellies, onshore drilling, offshore drilling, horse whisperer. <laughs> So he doesn't have a great job like you or I do. So he makes 10 cents more than minimum wage. In the Philippines. I understand. He's a super loser! OK, Kiana, I just finished making sure everybody has punch. Now I'm going to keep our ass company. Wait, 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 girl. Um, can, can you do me another favor? Can you take all the red dots out of the olives? They can be a little disturbing, girl, you know. <laughs> Can't you get somebody else to do that? I haven't spent any time with Arnaz. Oh, uh, but, but girl, no one's as good as you. So get to pitting. <laughs> Thank you, Natasha. Thank you, girl. Oh, girl. Girl, you working hard like an overseer come arms. <laughs> I have to. As long as she has Arnaz wrapped around her little finger, he is of no use to me, and I will not be ignored, OK? <laughs> Tell Arnaz that you have feelings for him. Okay, um, are you eating those weenies or smoking them? <laughs> I don't have any feelings for Arnaz. All right, thanks, man. Keep this. <laughs> All right, no hint of Burberry. <laughs> Dwayne Odell Knox, what are you doing? She said you're special and she would never cheat on you. Flex Washington, you the man. <laughs> uh, well, I'm just trying to help out a damsel in distress. Oh. <laughs> well, if you were just trying to help, why did you take me back down to the bar so we can have the second bottle of champagne, huh? Because <laughs> you know it makes me randy. Uh, <laughs> well, I, I was hoping that it would make you naked. <laughs> oh, Flex, you dirty, dirty boy. Let me just spank your booty. <laughs> This bit is really hard. <laughs> On the floor? Oh, she's a hussy. I should kill them both. No, no. Who said that? Uh, it can't be comfortable. Uh, let me get you in the bed. Yeah, just take me to bed, big boy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, too bad for you. I'm a nice guy. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, where are we going? Come on. Uh, Oh, give me strength! Oh! Yeah. Oh, hey, Flex, we got an answer in my purse. Okay. Hello? Tell him to put you down right now. Oh, my God. He's in my head. Who is that? 
<laughs> Is that your super loser? <laughs> Man, take your hands off my woman. Dwayne? Yeah. Your super loser. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. You? And you? Well, yeah, Stacy and I have been seeing each other ever since that big storm last Christmas. Remember when we uh, helped out at the station? <laughs> We're in love. Go on, tell him, Cornbread. <laughs> tell him about our little Hawaiian adventure. Uh, that right. <laughs> you can't, can you? My mom was right. You are ashamed of me. I think he and Natasha just ducked into your bedroom. Wow. Rihanna's bedroom. This is cool. Never been allowed in here before. Yes. Alone. By ourselves. Two of us. Hey. She cut that piece of origami I gave her. She called it origagmi. <laughs> Your lips are so soft. Mm, so yours, Brianna. Brianna! <laughs> um. <laughs> I couldn't find him. You must have taken off. You know, this is all your fault. I never thought that a woman would come between me and Dwayne. Don't blame me, Flex. You're the one that called him a super loser. <laughs> oh, no, you take that back, all right? My friend Dwayne is not a super loser. <laughs> you don't know anything about him. Oh, I know a lot about him. I know that Nothing. <laughs> because if you did, you never would have been ashamed of him. And you know why? Because he knows how to be a real friend. When I was away at college and Nicole was pregnant, he checked on her every single day. And when I was in the NBA on the road, he would put on stilts and stand around Brianna's crib just so she could see a tall person and think daddy was home. <laughs> put it simply, I love that man. And you don't deserve it. Man, I heard every word, dog. I love you too. Come here. <laughs> Yeah, that Burberry is kind of nice. <laughs> man, I never would have gone after your girl if I'd have known it was your girl. I know, man. And I never would have called you loser if I'd known you were the loser in question. <laughs> but why did you guys keep this a secret? Flex, if I'd have told you that I was in love with Dwayne, what would you have done? <laughs> <laughs> well, there you see? But then I would have told you. You couldn't have picked a better guy than my best friend, my dog. Thanks, man. <laughs> that Burberry is nice. <laughs> <laughs> if you two will excuse me, I think I saw two flight attendants at the bar, and they look like they might want to fly Air Flex. <laughs> Dwayne, I'm sorry. And if you take me back, you'll never regret it. Well, I, don't, I don't know, Cornbread. I mean, you hurt me. You hurt me deep. <laughs> man, Dwayne, I'm all messed up. I've been chasing a good career instead of a good man. I only hope I haven't lost a good one in you. I love you, cookie toes. <laughs> And I'm ready to tell the world. That's not good enough. Sugar nose? OK. <laughs> Ooh, what are they doing in there? What, what, what? The only way to find out is to open the door and go in. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard of. Now move out the way so I can open the door and go in. <laughs> what was that? Brianna, there's something wrong with the window in your dad's room. And I think somebody might have just lost a big toe. Whoa, what are people doing in my daddy's room? Come on. I I'm sorry, Natasha. 
Natasha. Don't you mean Brianna? <laughs> hey, where's Brianna? I have to tell her I'm leaving. She's in Flex's bedroom with Lewis. Lewis? Natasha! Natasha, wait! Spirit! Spirit! What happened? My bedroom door is open. Where's Natasha and Arnaz? Girl, they did what they had to do, and they just left. Hey, Daddy! Hey, Bree, you up early? Yeah, I couldn't sleep. <laughs> oh, the place looks nice. You vacuumed, you mopped, you dusted. Is that pine I smell? Yeah, well, I know you like a clean house. Oh. <laughs> You're punished. Why? No teenager uses pine salt unless they're trying to hide something. You, you can tell all that from pine salt? Uh, that and Dwayne told me. <laughs> What happened to all the lights? Your hair doesn't look that bad. No, we're having a romantic evening together and watching the fight. Yeah, yeah that's cute, honey, but uh, fights and romance don't go together, uh, unless you're in Thailand with 20 bucks. And I guess my new bustier isn't appropriate either. Oh, it's very appropriate. Uh, any chance I could get you to stand next to the TV? Baby, you make me so hot. Oh, hey, Natalie. Um, Daddy, I need to ask you a favor. There's a few bucks in my wallet. You can stay out till midnight. If you break curfew, you better be bleeding. Daddy, I want to throw a slumber party for Spirit's birthday. Can I? Go for the ear. Go for the ear. Daddy, please. I'm her best friend, and it's her sweet 16. Oh, not the rest, ear. Natalie, can you please help me? Sure, Brianna. What? Woman, are you crazy? You're in the middle of the fight. Flex, a sweet 16 slumber party is a rite of passage. It's the last time girls get to be girls. You're already 16, aren't you? <laughs> Not me, Daddy Spirit. So? Fine, yes, whatever it takes to get the fight back on. Oh, thank you, Daddy. I'm about to tell Spirit right now. Nine, ten, it's over, folks. Over. <laughs> so where did you want me to stand? That fight was pay per view, baby. You better get to dance. Sometimes in the start, you can feel all by yourself. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. I'll be there to think, and then why don't you love where you're from? Can't you get the ball? Maybe one, no, one, one, no, one. She turned off your TV at your house? Play, I hope she tripped over the court. She got her hands on the remote. Oh! oh! What happened to my life? It's been so long since I've been in a relationship, I forgot about all the stuff you have to do. Like, talking. Sometimes the background music in my head drowns her out, but I'm pretty sure she's still talking. <laughs> When I was with Stacy, you know, we used to go to the mall and spend the whole day just talking. <laughs> you know, we'd browse a little, then, uh, then we'd split a Cinnabon and laugh at all the single, lonely people. <laughs> now I eat the whole one by myself and watch people laugh at me. No way, baby. It doesn't matter what you do. People gonna laugh at you anyway. <laughs> so, yo, Flex, how'd you get away today? I let her know that it's no longer sat her day, it's sat him day. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm the king of my cats. That's how I that. Guys, Flex, you ready to go antiquing? Ooh, antiquing. I, I thought that was Sunday. Hmm, obviously it was sat her day. <laughs> I love antiquing. You have to go to Yona's down on Charles Street. They have the best collection of Rococo. Rococo? Does that come with shrimp or chicken? <laughs> oh, here's a crazy thought. Uh, Dwayne, why don't you go antiquing with Natalie while I help walk with that thing he needs me to do. What thing? It's a private thing. <laughs> I don't mind telling. Flex, 
is gonna give me $200 to start a fund for handicapped horses at Pimlico. I'm telling y'all, nothing is sadder than a horse in a wheelchair. Just say you don't wanna go, Flex. Wow, babe. I think it here, and it comes out there. You make a great team. <laughs> Come on, Dwayne. Oh, this is gonna be so great. <laughs> I hope you like Cinnabon. <laughs> hey, did you two have fun antiquing? <laughs> Can you say Nirvana? <laughs> well, it sounds like we all had the perfect day. What did you do, baby? Absolutely nothing. In my underwear. <laughs> Can you say Nirvana? <laughs> <laughs> so, baby, are you ready to go to dinner? Yep, Dwayne, I had a wonderful time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> What's tomorrow? Nat needs help planting azaleas on her balcony. Unless you want to help me, Flex. Oh, no. Uh, I, I mean, you know, you need a green thumb to garden. Uh, I, I, mine's black. <laughs> but I'll come by and admire your azaleas later. <laughs> this is sweet. We make a great team. We do, don't we? Yeah, yeah, us, us too. <laughs> For the last time, can y'all please turn this music down? I'm trying to watch the game. Oh, pizza. <laughs> so, Dave, which color do you like best? Passion fusion or fusion passion? Uh, which everyone doesn't smell like a uh, dumpster. <laughs> Thanks for ruining my appetite. Oh, Daddy, are we bothering you? <sighs> my head hasn't hurt this bad since your mother said I do. <laughs> I'm going across the hall to your Uncle Dwayne's. Somebody choked? But there's a fire, your grandma's phone number is on the fridge. Wait, are you sure you want to go? We're about to pluck, and you can use a tweed. I can't go. Bye, Daddy. Bye. Oh, girl, I thought he would never leave. <laughs> oh, look, there's boys crashing our party. OK, Spirit, lock the door. We got two hours before the basketball game is over. Guys, what a great surprise. What? You told us to come. You even gave us Banaka. Let's get it on. <laughs> oh, on, Tiger. Y'all just eye candy. Now follow my lead, OK? Ah, the boy can't stop party. It's wild teenage hygiene. Stuff in your <laughs> this is how I like it. A man and his best friend chilling, watching the game, you know? You know, no teenagers plucking eyebrows. A girlfriend trying to control a remote. <laughs> you know, just two men hanging, caveman style. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Natalie, what are you doing here? Dwayne and I just got back from Flower Mart. Remember, I told you they were having a sale on hydrangeas, and then you told me to say hi to Dranger. Man, I'm funny even when I'm not paying attention. <laughs> Man, thanks for the Flower Mart thing. You are saving my life. <laughs> Man, what are friends for? And that dog is cool. You know, last night, when we went to that one-woman play, Taste My Tears, <laughs> well, we laughed, <laughs> then we cried. <laughs> I'm so cleansing. <laughs> Wait a minute. Natalie, I thought you said you were going to see that play with one of your girlfriends. Uh, all my girlfriends do is complain about how there are no good men left. Dwayne never does that. <laughs> Dwayne, I forgot to tell you, I got us tickets for the car show tomorrow. What? Yeah, they got the James Bond Thunderbird there. I hear Halle Berry's butt print is still in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, but Dwayne, don't forget, you promised tomorrow with the whole Mexpo. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I'm sorry, Flex, but a promise is a promise. <laughs> but the first 500 people get a free wicker parasol. <laughs> I'll get you one, too. Oh, why don't you keep it for yourself? Every man should have a pair of something. OK, my turn. I never hid in a boy's closet. Ooh, no. me neither. <laughs> Yeah, the first three things. I was just sort of hungry. Uh, <laughs> okay, my turn. I never kissed Arnez. Mm. All right, all right. You gotta kiss a few frogs before you get your prince. Uh-oh. <laughs> it, it was a long 
time ago. Well, why didn't you ever tell me? I don't know. I guess I forgot. You forgot? How could you forget? Yeah, how could you forget? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> well, there must be some reason why you wouldn't tell your best friend. It doesn't really matter what happened back then. What matters is that you didn't tell me, Jezebel. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Whatever. Can we just get back to the game? Fine. <laughs> I never <laughs> should have thrown this party for you. Ooh. OK. <laughs> My turn. I never should have let you. <laughs> What's so important, Flex? I don't like you and Dwayne spending so much time together. I'm sorry, but it's over. What? You and I are breaking up? No, you and Dwayne are breaking up. <laughs> oh, I see. Listen, sweetie, I've been through this before, and you're just gonna have to get used to it. <sighs> you're dating someone who's kind of attractive. <laughs> Unfortunately, men are drawn to me. Let's face it, this has caused many a car pile up. I'm not worried about you. I got you. This is about Dwayne, little Miss Fender Bender. He was my friend first. Plus, you should be ashamed. You're acting worse than a teenage girl. No, I'm not. I can't believe you're acting like this, Brianna. Arnaz was my friend first. <laughs>
Are you sure this isn't about us and the fact that it was me she kissed? Huh? 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 Uh, excuse me. Don't flatter yourself. This is strictly a girl thing. Here's the girlfriend rule. You don't kiss a guy and then let me kiss the guy without telling me that you kissed the guy first. <laughs> Spirit and I have history. We've done a lot of things together. We even took a bath together when we were three. You want to get mad at her for that, too? Or maybe you want to get even? Honest, just go. <laughs> Brianna, you're a lucky girl. Because you have so many friends, you can just throw a good one away. Are you sick or something, man? I'm used to beating you, but 15 or nothing, twice. You OK? <laughs> man, you were just on fire today. You were the racquetball king of the world. See ya. Hey, man. <laughs> What's your rush? There's an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie playing down at the Cineplex. I hear this time he's battling arthritis. What's going on with my finger? <laughs> as much as I'd love to, man, I have got to get to work. Again? You've been working like a dog all week. Oh, I get it. Dwayne's place. Hello? Hello? I think I dialed the wrong number. Hmm. Who, who was it? I don't know. They hung up. Huh. Well, I've been getting a lot of those lately. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, hello? Oh, 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 hi, Mama. Yeah. Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just here with Flex. Yeah. You remember Flex, don't you? Uh-huh. What? what? You're locked in the freezer, are you? Oh, OK. I'll be there right away. <laughs> I keep telling that woman, keep the Klondike bars up front. <laughs> See ya. Uh, you want some help? Oh, no, 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 no. When Mama gets stuck in the freezer, she kind of, you know, freaks out. And she's usually naked, so. <laughs> Mama likes it when I look nice. <laughs> hmm, he's never been in a rush to get her out of the freezer before. Strange calls, people hanging up. Let's see who Star 69 gets us. Victoria's Tea House. Victoria's Tea House? Those two time and tea guzzlers? Excuse me? Oh, I, I'm sorry. I, I meant to think that. Hi. Here's all your stuff. W wait. Is my red bell sleeve top in here? You mean my dad's oil rag? <laughs> oh, I remember this. Our t-shirt from Six Flags. We rode every roller coaster that day. Oh, look, there's your lunch. <laughs> Is this your way of trying to say you're sorry? Maybe. It's just that since we're best friends, I thought you would have told me about kissing Arnez. Rihanna, that kiss with Arnez was nothing. We were 11 and playing spin the bottle. So he didn't smell like peaches back then? More like old soda. <laughs> so, girl, are we friends again? No. <laughs> okay, we are now. Okay. <laughs> okay, girl. It's been four days. We need to catch up. Do you think our drama might have been because you still have feelings for Arnes? Do you want your birthday present? Won't bring it up again. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you for waiting for me, Natalie. Flex just needed his Dwayne time. Don't we all? Wait until you taste this marmalade to die for. Everything just looks lovely. I Aha! <laughs> what do we have here? Uh, Flex, it's not what you think. Oh, oh, it's not. Well, I think my best friend and my girlfriend are sneaking around behind my back having hot tea. OK, it's what you think. Flex, calm down. Calm down? How, how, how could you do this to me? Shh, yourselves. <laughs> I'm sorry, Flex. It's, once I tasted the sweet nectar of feminine sophistication, I, I just couldn't let it go. Oh, really? So this, this tea sipping is worth risking 30 years of friendship? You get scones, too. Yeah, well, I hope they come with memories. You know, I should join you two and suck in some of this sophistication. Ooh, I'd stab a buddy in the back for this. OK, Flex, that's enough. Now, we've been best friends ever since you carjacked my hippity hop. <laughs> you're my best friend, but you're not my only friend. You just have to accept the fact that I have lots of friends, and now I've made a new one in Natalie, who allows me to express my civilized self. <laughs> I can be civilized. Shh. 
No more strawberries, Henry. <laughs> Lex, don't you think it's unfair for you to expect Dwayne to be at your beck and call? He's not at my beck and call. He's just always there when I call. Why can't you just share him, Flex? It's not like you don't have plenty of other friends. But, but what? Look, I know plenty of people, and, and I have other buddies, but I only have one friend. When you meet your best friend at four, you don't exactly have to make other friends. Well, Flex, I feel the same way. But you said you had lots of friends. Yeah, I said I have lots of friends, but not lots of friend friends. I mean, Natalie's cool and all, but she wouldn't get one of my kidneys. <laughs> what? Well, I might give you a ride to the airport or help you move, but an organ? Ooh, baby, find a healthy cousin. You, you'd really do that for me? Absolutely. I mean, you're my dog. I'm sorry, I was tripping, man. It, you know what? I won't get in the way of this ya-ya sisterhood. Uh, yeah! We're on for the yarn show tomorrow. Oh, hey, yarn show. Oh, tch, oh Natalie, yarn? <laughs> well, this brother draws the line at yarn, all right? <laughs> Auto show? Oh, Halley's butt. <laughs> <Let's do this. laughs> Buy my ticket. I'll meet you by the crochet booth. <laughs> hey, Frenchie, uh, let me get some of them scones. Excuse me? I want some scones, man, scones! <laughs> Uh, with, with some whipped cream, too. That's Devonshire. Yeah, 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 some of that, some of that. Put the flat up, man. What's that over there? You have not seen me. Turn around, turn around! <laughs> oh, good morning, parents. Good morning, sofa. How far is the Asabuhi African mask? <laughs> oh, that's why he it feels so wonderful to be back home in Baltimore. Well, I guess you didn't see that triple homicide on the news this morning. Daddy, you're harshing my mellow. <laughs> well, um, ba, I dare see be con co jo. That's a loose translation in Yoruba for sit your butt down, eat your breakfast. But, Mommy, I'm too excited to eat. I gotta go surprise Spirit and Arnez and tell them that I'm back and that their boring little lives are gonna be meaningful again. <laughs> All right, now that the child is gone, can we discuss the house rules for squatters, vagabonds, and the generally undesirable? <laughs> Rule number one, no more whale music at night. Man, what is with the... The soothing sound of a killer whale is what helps me sleep. Yeah, well, so could a whale-placed harpoon. Well, if I can recall, that's the sound that you used to make when you used to reach a romantic peak. Just tell me when you're gonna get a job. Well, Flex, as you know, Baltimore is a water-based society with various points gracing the Chesapeake Bay. You know, you used to be so hot before all that book learning. And you used to be even hotter when I was ignorant. Now, focus. Now, I'm gonna be circulating my resume to all the places befitting a woman with a PhD, and then I'm gonna find a very big, fabulous place to live. Oh, how about fabulous and far away? <laughs> Come on, Flex, now you're lucky. You don't have to start all over again. No, no, I don't. They've been keeping my seat warm down to WYNX, and do you wanna know why? Because I have something called likability. <laughs> See, when, when people like you, they wanna keep you around, and uh, when they don't, well, you've lived the rest. <laughs> Sometimes in the snow, you can feel all by yourself. Check, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I'll be there. And your flatette man is back. <laughs> and now that I've got the sheen of a guy who almost made it to the pros again, we need to renegotiate. But don't worry, I ain't gonna stick it to you. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, awfully nice of you, little flexy. Give me a chance to stick it to you first. <laughs> oh, you're no longer lead sports anchor. You've been bumped. What? <laughs> By who? Hey, Flex, you're in my spot. <laughs> Visitor parking is on level two. 
visit a park and you can't fire me. Oh, technically I can, but I haven't. You see, when you ran off to pursue your hoop dreams, you left the WYNX team without its star player. But Stacy said I could have the time off. Yeah, that's right. That's why I'm giving Stacy some time off. <laughs> but but Danny, why him? Oh, because he's ruthless. He's hardworking. And he's my wife's little brother. <laughs> but when he got wind of the oldest rookie in the NBA story, he was on the first plane out to LA. That story was about me. <laughs> yeah, like, don't worry, the irony wasn't lost on us either. Uh, but hey, maybe you could fill in for me on a day or two. I uh Calling sick on spa days. Ciao, Bella. I don't have to take this. Every station in Baltimore is gonna be knocking on my door because I have likability. Yeah. You also have a non compete clause. Yeah. So your contract states that you can't work at a local media outlet for a year if you quit. So I'm not intimidated by your binding contracts, your legal technicalities, yeah, my million dollar lawsuits. <laughs> A man dares to pursue his dreams and loses his job? This is not the America that I want to live in. But, but it's still the land of opportunity, pal. And lucky for you, our weatherman is retiring. El Nino Gonzalez? <laughs> I thought he died months ago. Yeah, we did too. Well, you never shake the sound of a man screaming in his own coffin. <laughs> Hey, man, I do sports. I don't do weather, and I'll never do weather. So if there's no position open in sports, then there's no position for me. Uh, th this is where you say, I'm sorry you're back in sports? Oh, I'm sorry. You're... <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, hey. Hey. Brianna, I can rock this Gucci purse, and you can rock this Prada purse. You are the worst Brianna ever, Ray Ray. You need to go inside and practice. Then remember, it's <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know. Carl, ah! what are you doing here? I missed you. I thought you left. My mom quit her job and we're staying in Baltimore. Ah! This is so exciting. I mean, we can go back to school together again, and you and our nest can start your new life as a couple. Ah! Arnez again after a kiss like that. But why? Because that was our goodbye forever kiss. Our Titanic kiss. The, the music swells, he slips into the ocean, he dies with the band and my heart goes on. He lives next door to me. You're gonna see him sooner or later. But everything has changed. I rocked one on him. No, two. And I don't think you learned that practicing on your pillow. So I at least need to know how he feels about our kiss. So what are you gonna do? Uh-uh, no, no. What are we gonna do? Oh, girl, I miss your scheme away so much. <laughs> now, one lawyer in Baltimore can get me out of that non-compete contract. Well, there's one, but I gotta rear end somebody and wear a neck brace for a week. <laughs> and I've checked everywhere. Nobody's hiring. I can't believe I quit my job. At least we're not like other unemployed people. We got skills. You know what? You're right. I mean, we can find a job in no time. No doubt. The, the, the phones is going to be ringing off the hook. Ring! <laughs> <laughs> is it on? <laughs> okay, this is it. Here comes Arnaz. Now, when he gets here, be sure to be real subtle about the kiss, okay? Okay. Hey, Arnaz! Uh. So how about that kiss yesterday, huh? Yeah, that was a kiss I've been dreaming about my whole life. Aww. I miss Brianna so much. Sometimes I think I'm seeing her. <laughs> you got it bad. Um, but maybe she's closer than you think. A lot closer. Yeah, well, uh, I gotta go. See you around. Okay. How come you didn't come out? Girl, are you kidding? I'm gonna make him miss me more so he'll want me more. Now that I know Arnaz can't function without the soft touch of my tender kiss. <laughs> Where are you going? Nowhere. Yet. But I'm acting as if. 
You see, if I dress for work, I'll get work. It's called Manifest Destiny. <laughs> and that's Destiny calling right now. <laughs> Nicole Barnes, PhD. Hello, Destiny calling for Mr. Carol Barnes, PhD. That is not funny, Flex. This is hard for me. I've always had a job. Even when I was 18 and pregnant with Brianna, I was paid to be the poster girl for babies having babies. Don't let it happen to you. <laughs> Look, girl, you need to get over it. You knew there was no job security in whale watching. They're an endangered species, for God's sake. They go, you go. Well, what about you, Mr. Flathead Man? Don't nobody want you, do they? What do up, they? Do up, they? No. <laughs> oh, how the bourgeoisie have fallen. <laughs> For once, you two are down and out, and I am the symbol of success and prosperity. <laughs> then why aren't you at work? Well, uh, my boss down at the used car lot gave me a couple days off to prepare for my annual evaluation. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's employed people talk. <laughs> <laughs> See, uh, in laid off people terms, I'm just studying to become the lot manager. Dang, Nicole. <laughs> we suck. Dwayne's doing better than us. Well, it's okay, honey. It thinks it get better. You want a hug? Uh-huh. Okay, I'll give you a little hug. Oh, look at you two, comforting each other. <laughs> you two stay jobless much longer. I won't be surprised if I'm the best man at your wedding again, and there's another bundle of joy running around up in here. <laughs> hey, 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 where you going? Uh, to let El Nino back in his casket. <laughs> Bring your umbrellas to work tomorrow. It might rain. <laughs> Today's weather question comes from Margaret Kurtz of Towson. Flex, my bridge club loves watching you do the weather. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> Could we see if your back is as sexy as your front? <laughs> and what does that have to do with the weather? Bless <laughs> you. Local weather forecast, and I'm your weatherman, Flex Chocolate Thunder. <laughs> Very funny, Charlie. That was nice work, Flex. Really. Top of the next hour, I'll wear spandex. All right, I, you've won. I, I've accepted my position as weather slut. Hey, uh, weather slut. <laughs> Could you? Tidy up the desk a little. Um, see, I gotta go. I'm off to play 18 holes with Tiger Woods and Michael Jordan in some charity thing today. Wait, wait, wait. I, I set that up. They're supposed to be teeing off with me. Uh, no, actually, they're supposed to be teeing off with the lead sports anchor, and that would be um, me. <laughs> Smite him. You need to get over there and claim your man. Look at her, crawling all over him like a spider with a big old butt. <laughs> see, that's what you see. All I see is part two of my plan. Arnaz being so into me, he rebukes the hoochie. Now all I have to do is get over there and hear it for myself. Hey, I got an idea. Hey, Ray Ray. <laughs> PhD thing on my resume? Yeah, that's a typo. <laughs> it's supposed to be GED. <laughs> yeah, I'm as dumb as a stump. <laughs> I need to be a job. <laughs> Hello? Uh, I have been up all night studying. Nicole, look, ask me any question out of this book. Dwayne, I really don't have time for this. See, all that attitude gonna keep you from getting a job. <laughs> At least Flex has likability. Make me like you. Make me not smack you. Come on, Nicole, you're my best friend's ex-wife. Let's, let's not get freaky. What's up, D? You get a job yet, Nicole? No, chocolate thunder. And it's sunny. You said that it was gonna be rainy. Well, I got a forecast for you. 
Get a job. <laughs> Ooh, it's Hurricane Flex. Batten down the hatches, board up the windows. There's a lot of hot air blowing. Right up, yo. Woo! <laughs> there it is right there, that old passion. <laughs> you two keep this up, and angry sex is sure to follow. <laughs> You got a crappy job, right? How do you get up every morning without wanting to throw yourself in front of a train? Easy, all right? See, I get up every morning knowing that by the end of the day, I'm gonna make somebody smile. By selling them a pinto with a backseat made of Legos? Hey, Flex, you got a job. You're a weatherman. You get to lie to millions of people every day and they keep coming back. Dog, that's the American dream. <laughs> Girl, this car's so funky, I'm about to black out from the fumes. Suck it up, on a mission. I know there's a fair going on at Druid Hill. And I heard the haunted house is real dark and scary. And I need someone to hold on to. So you want to go? I'm not really in the mood for big crowds. See? He's rebuking. He's rebuking. Ever since Brianna left, I've been kind of down. Me too. Oh, I miss her so. <laughs> but at least we have each other. Thanks, Ginger. You're a good friend. Let's go hang out at the mall. I don't love them all. See, now he's passed my test. <laughs> oh. I swear he wouldn't leave his cart in front of my building. Oh, <laughs> so let your smiles be your umbrellas because there aren't any clouds in sight. And for Maggie Kurtz and her bridge club, I am Chocolate Thunder. <laughs> Thanks, Charlie. And thank you. We'll be back at the top of the hour. And we're out. Flex, that's one of the best weather broadcasts I've ever seen. Oh, thanks, Hank. You know, I am just happy to be part of the team. <laughs> hey, bro-in-law, a word? I just got this memo that you're sending me to that fishing contest on Sharp Island. Oh, yeah, yeah. The tournament. <laughs> that should be a blast. I cover athletes, not fish. Hey, hey, why don't I do the weather from the tournament? It might be kind of fun to have the winner of the contest co-host with me. I mean, after all, I am the bass man for the job. <laughs> <laughs> I like your attitude. Unlike Danny here. Danny, let's go talk about your future in my office. Uh, Danny. Likeability. <laughs> Chef Boy R.D.? Close, Chef Bro R.D. <laughs> ah, very funny. This is an apology to your mother. Wait a minute. Cooking and apology all in one day. Did the doctor call? Am I dying? <laughs> very funny. But thanks to our good friend, Dwayne, I got a new attitude and my old job back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, Daddy. Uh, thanks, boo -boo. Hey, don't waste all those hugs over there. Mommy's got a new job, too. You're looking at the new research director for the Save the Oceans United League. S-O-U-L. So! <laughs> See, now I'm helping marine life by going straight to the source. So everything is going to be perfect. Oh, congratulations, Mommy. Oh, thank you. Oh, and I've got even better news. Brianna and I are going to be living it up in a spacious apartment in Bolton Hill. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. You and Brianna get an apartment? We never talked about that. You actually thought that since I got a job in Baltimore that the living arrangements weren't going to change? Yeah, things are great the way they are. No, no, they're not. But, Flex, I'm not going to argue with you. We'll let Brianna decide. Baby, <laughs> now who would you rather live with, Mommy or Daddy? Now, take your time, you know? Nobody's going to get upset. <laughs> OK, Daddy. <laughs> It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I, I, I'm fine. You know, if you rather live here, then here is where you'll stay. We could spend the weekends together. Hmm. Thank you, Mommy, for understanding. Okay. <laughs> and for giving me life. <laughs> I'll see you later. Later, baby. Oh, wow. Nicole, that was probably the most mature thing that you've ever done. Our relationship is moving to a new level. I hate you! <laughs> against me. Nicole, be reasonable. Look, see, you're like broccoli. Healthy, good for you, but people have to pour cheese all over you just to choke you down. <laughs> see, I'm like chocolate cake. I go down pretty easy, and I'm good for your hips. Don't do 
feel so sure of yourself, Lex. The only reason why I went along with this is because I didn't want to end up being mean mom. I know a trap when I see one. Oh, please, Nicole. Ain't nobody trying to trap you. Oh, I beg to differ. <laughs> I'm on to you, Flex. See, you're the fun parent, but not for long, okay? This is my chance to be the fun parent. So while you're setting curfews and imposing punishments, I'm going to be mommy good guy. <laughs> you see, I'm having fun already. This place you're moving into, uh, padded walls, right? Brianna, I'm so happy to see you. I've been lost in the hot seat. When did you get back? Well, it's a long story, but all that matters is that I'm here now. Man, she never went anywhere. Brianna, I know you never left. <laughs> Brianna, why do you keep playing games in my heart? It wasn't a game. It was a test. Brianna, I'm a musician. Elvis wasn't good at tests, and neither am I. <laughs> I think it's best we stay friends. But, ready to go, boo? Who? Yeah, I'm with Ginger now. She doesn't play games. Welcome back, Bree Bree. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I blew it, spirit. I am never gonna like another boy again, Daddy. I wish all boys were more like you. There's nobody like me, sweetie. I'm an original. I thought our nest was an original. <laughs> Stop messing with me. Okay, well, this is the last of it. I'll walk you out, Ma. Okay. Well, take care, Nicole. I wish you well. Whatever, Flex. <laughs> Tina Turner, she goes, she goes, she goes, she goes, she goes. I'm gonna miss her so much. thinking, but what would the band sound like without me singing? Music? <laughs> Do not listen to her. Look, why don't you just ask the band and see how they feel? Okay. Say, so, guys, I've been thinking if we got a new lead singer, then... What? Uh... I don't have any money for you, baby. <laughs> I'm spending it all on redoing that stupid kitchen as a surprise for your grandma. Maybe if I'm lucky, she'll hate it and stay away another month. <laughs> yeah, I need to talk to Mom. I'm not convinced she's still alive. <laughs> well, I have to get over to Arnez's. Oh, Arnez is back with his mother? I thought she was, uh... <laughs> no, he has his own apartment. Oh, and you let her go over there? No, I do not. Not until she does the dishes. Okay. Whoop. 
One swoop boards. Hello, <laughs> ma'am. All right. Hey, don't be long. You have to finish our journal entries. We have therapy tomorrow, and I don't want you stealing from the old Cosby reruns. <laughs> please, if you walk outside, you got to put on the coat. Please. Don't put on the coat. Feel good. Bye, Daddy. That's right. Get drinky with it. <laughs> what? And do you have a diary too, Nancy? <laughs> it's a journal, Pop, and yes, it's a helpful tool in our therapy. Therapy? You mean you pay some stranger to tell you what your problem is? No, Dad, that's what I have you for. <laughs> I can't believe you would let your daughter go over to some strange boy's apartment. Pop, it's Arnaz. I said strange. <laughs> There's no telling what they could be doing over there. <laughs> Dad, unlike you, I trust my child. We've taken our relationship to a whole nother level. Well, yeah, you need to come back down to planet butt whooping. <laughs> Yes, in the galaxy of, I'll give you something to cry about. <laughs> Obviously, Pop, we have uh, different parenting styles. <laughs> well, I would have never let your sister go over to some boy's apartment on chaperone. Bernadette? Oh, I'm sorry, or should I say Miss July and Mechanics Monthly? <laughs> and I suppose that's what you talk about in therapy? What a bad father you think I am? Please, Dad, we only have an hour in therapy. <laughs> Brianna to graduate, walk out that door, and never want to come back again. So I'd appreciate if you'd stay out of it. And if you'd stay out of my closet, you stretching out my shirts all up in here. All in here. <laughs> One of you is going to be the front man for the next great rock and roll revolution. We want someone who's going to bring it. All right, first up, Filbert Kyle Jenkins. <laughs> uh, next. <laughs> to our nazis. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm going to our nazis. <laughs> oh, oh, Mr. Barnes, let me ask you, one business owner to another, do I have to make a profit before I give myself a thousand dollar raise? The idea is to make money, Dwayne. Right, right. Then I'll give myself two thousand dollars. <laughs> hey, Pop, what's up, D? Uh, uh, hey, Flex, good news, I just gave myself a raise. Now I'm going to go out, spend all night celebrating, and then call myself in sick. <laughs> I feel sorry for him. Dwayne? No, his father. <laughs> Imagine going all those years not knowing you had a son, and then you meet him, and he's Dwayne. <laughs> What's with all the tools, Pop? Oh, I've just been fixing some things around here you seem to be neglecting, like this sink. And that flickering lamp in your bedroom. You fix my lamp? It's supposed to be that way. It sets the mood. <laughs> oh, please tell me you didn't touch my fog machine. I thought that was a smoking radio. I tossed that. <laughs> now, why can't you be like other old people? Sit in the park, feed the pigeons, and try to remember who you are. <laughs> well, excuse me for fixing things. Back in my day, when things were broken, we fixed them, and parents knew what their children were doing. Oh, so this is about Brown and Arnett? No, this is about you not knowing how to raise your child. You're too easy on her. She's got no curfew, and you let her run around all over the place with that gypsy girl. What's her name? Ghost? <laughs> Spirit, Pop. My name is Spirit. <laughs> you know what? You have two other children. Why don't you go irritate them? Oh, I heard that. <laughs> So you think I'm irritating, huh? Well, maybe your therapist can give you the tools you need to cope with me. <laughs> no, I, I'm out of here, man. I'm... 
Where are my keys? Why aren't my keys in the key dish? That's what the key dish is for. The key dish are for my keys. Where are my keys? In the drawer. The key drawer. You know what? I'd appreciate if you wouldn't touch my lamp, my sink, or anything else that is broke. I like things broke. That's why I hang out with Dwayne. I'll touch anything I want to around here, mister. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have any of this stuff. Not this high-tech TV, not this overpriced couch, and not this fancy leather journal. Yes! We found our singer. Wait until you meet Charlie. Oh, is he cute? No, the important thing is, can Charlie sing? Yeah, but a cute lead singer can get away with being bad. Unless it's our nest. I love your bedroom, man, that's Nice to meet Hendrix Barster. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Arnaz, who is Fifi? Why was she in your bedroom? This is our new singer, Charlie. She's moved here from France. Yes. My father just opened a new restaurant. It's, uh... How do you say? The subway. Charlie, this is Spirit and Brianna. His girlfriend, Brianna. Oh, I didn't know you had a girlfriend. Most rockers like to be free. Yeah, well, this one's on lockdown, Frenchie. Hey, Charlie, if you have time now, maybe we can get a little rehearsing in. Hey, whatever you say, from now on, I'm all yours. Oh, it was nice to meet you, Bridget. All right, count down, Fitzy. Packing up already? I can't believe they finished the kitchen. I thought it'd take at least a week to get that linoleum off the walls. Why would I take the linoleum off the walls? That would be like taking the plastic runners off the shag rugs. <laughs> and that kitchen is not ready yet. If your mother calls, tell her I will be staying at Dwayne's. Dwayne's? Why are you going over to Dwayne's? Nobody stays there on purpose. <laughs> this suffocating, overbearing, Demanding father doesn't want to be a bad influence on your daughter. He read my journal. <laughs> you forgot. Nosy, stubborn, and oh yeah, I want my shirt back. Even if it fits like a dress. <laughs> about what Norm is. You think so? Couldn't you see how she was throwing it in my face with every yeah? <laughs> yeah. Are you mocking me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, you really liked it? Oh, Brianna and I were just saying how great you guys sound. Well, you know, I have to give all the credit to Anas. I really feel connected to him. Well, you know what? It must be a really bad connection because he's my man. Can you hear me now? Hey, you guys miss my singing? <laughs> that's, that's funny. I miss your singing, boo, but not as much as I miss your kisses. Mm -hmm. Well, we sound great, right? 
And Charlie is like, she's just so, I don't even have words for her. Brianna does. <laughs> Do you think I'm a good dad? Me, the best. Me too. Okay, now together. <laughs> They're just trying to get to me. Well, it's not working. Shut up! <laughs> Grandpa must really be mad at you. But at least he's not making eyes at Dwayne. Oh, there's this new singer, Charlie, keeps coming on to him, and I think he likes it. Uh-huh. I knew that boy was gay. <laughs> no, Charlie's a girl. Oh, well, maybe it's time for you to move on and see some other people. But Daddy, I love him. Love? Brianna, you don't love him. It's just a crush. Just forget it. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. Look, it's not for me to say whether you're in love or not. I'm praying for not. <laughs> but we, we can talk about it. You sure? Yeah. Sit down. All right. So what makes you think this Charlie is interested in our name? Well, the way she, and, and how she, and, ooh, you wouldn't believe when, I just know. You don't think Garnez is interested in her, do you? Well, I don't think so. But you should see her up there, all cooing and gyrating, and she's French. Ooh, ah, nah, the croissant, croissant. Look, baby, relationships are based on trust. Now, if you really care about them, you got to talk to them. And remember... Talk slowly. It is Arnaz. Buddy. <laughs> oh no, come here. Buddy, buddy, gotta keep it back. singing is about you. It's called I Want a Brianna. Charlie just helped me put it together. I, I want a Brianna? I want to crawl in a hole and die. MS, I don't want no trouble with your cheerleader girlfriends. I saw bringing up. Brianna, there's no need to be jealous. Well, I wouldn't say I was jealous. I might have gotten the wrong impression. I might have put my foot in my mouth, but jealous I am not. And there's no reason to be. Remember, I want a Brianna. And I want an Arnaz. Okay. Okay, well, I'll leave you two alone so you can go back to rehearsing. Cool. I'll call you later. All right. All right. And then this part here. Arnaz. See if you did it. And then you kiss me in my own world is right. If I get all it. I think for this one, just me. Dwayne, <laughs> 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 you crack me up. Back in my day, people used to have sons like you. Except me. Oh, hi, Flex. <laughs> Dad, I really think we should talk. Or did you lose your voice from all that fake laughing? I'm sorry, son. Me and Dwayne are in the middle of something. Yeah, we're, uh, we're playing cash. <laughs> Heads up. <laughs> Strike one. Dwayne, why don't you go and get those pictures of your father? I want to get to know the real Dwayne. You want to get to know me? Well, okay. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you came over here to talk me into coming back. Forget it. 
I'm having a good time over here. Weird, but good. <laughs> Dad, I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings, but you shouldn't have read my journal. It's like that time when you find a Victoria's Secret catalog under my bed. Now, I really was looking for a bathrobe for Mom. <laughs> for Christmas. In July. <laughs> well, why would I be hurt just because you called me suffocating, overbearing, and demanding? You meant those things in a good way. Right, Flex? <laughs> You did what you thought was best. You were just too strict. I mean, if you had just trusted me, maybe I wouldn't have constantly tested the boundaries and wouldn't have ended up with dad at 18. It's not my fault. You thought safe sex meant keeping the car door locked. <laughs> Aha, that's where you're wrong. Brianna wasn't conceived in your cup of supreme. She was conceived at the Green Door Motel. How you like me now? <laughs> the Green Door Motel. Those were your matchbooks? I owe your mother an apology. All I'm saying is, it, it, it would have been nice if, if we could have talked about what I was going through instead of facing off all the time. Pop, I love you, but, but I don't want things to be the same way between Brianna and me. Are you saying you're a better father than I was? Well, you sure as hell didn't turn out so bad. I put three kids through college, and one of them is on TV and not on an episode of Cops. <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying you did a poor job, but I don't want it to take 20 years for Brianna to tell me how she really feels. That's why we're going to therapy. You mean you're not there because of me? No, I'm there because of Brianna. And the therapist is kind of hot. <laughs> there you are. Hey, Grandpa. Hey, sweetie. <laughs> I just wanted to tell you that you were right and everything's cool with me and our nays, but I'm still looking out for Charlie. <laughs> Hmm. So, does this mean you two made it up? I don't know. Dad? Yeah. I guess I'm realizing there are a lot of different ways to be a good parent. And from what I see in front of me, we both did a pretty good job. <laughs> now, let's get out of here before Dwayne comes back. He likes to be held after he cries, and I am not in the mood. <laughs> The holding out of mine, it's all the rocking back and forth and back, and then you gotta rub his ear and all that. <laughs> One. So, are you proposing to Natalie tonight? Nope. On Saturday night. I'm moving to Africa. You pray for something long enough, and it happens. <laughs> my mom finally gave me my dad's real name. Turns out she's been lying to me all these years. So, how are you going to find her? Private investigator. <laughs> According to the court records, you've been married since June 18th, 1986. Oh, man, this has to be some kind of mistake. Will you marry me? Oh, my God! Not that many women would have said yes, knowing that Flex is still married. <laughs> is that Arnaz and Ginger? Washington, your wife Nicole took a drive into the jungle with her lover Jaden. Their empty jeep was found overturned several miles from the main road. Daddy, is mommy okay? Day 30 in the search for Nicole Barnes. Good morning, I'm Craig Simpson, live from Baltimore, here with local TV personality, sports anchor Flex Washington and his daughter Brianna. Now, Mr. Washington, your wife... The ex-ex-ex-ex-wife, people. <laughs> I shook her long before she disappeared. Daddy, I've told you once before, my mommy's alive. I could feel it in my bones. This is every American family's worst nightmare. A tourist disappearing in a strange land, fighting for her life. A mother, an ex-wife... Oh, she's still his wife, because he never got divorced. And now I'm engaged to an almost bigamist. <laughs> Natalie, sorry, mommy. Lo siento. Lo siento. Uh, she's half Puerto Rican. Oh, yo tambien. Yo tambien. <laughs> Brianna, this must be really difficult for you. After 30 days, your mother could be... Uh-uh. Don't say it. Don't you even think it. My mama is not dead. I've seen those Tarzan movies. And if an unarmed white man in a diaper can survive in the jungle, you know my mama can. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, hope springs eternal in the heart of a naive child. Uh, uh, now, if we only have proof that she's still alive. And you are? Uh, friend and next door neighbor Dwayne Odell Knox and I unselfishly support Flex and Brianna as they wait for news of their beloved Nicole. Ah, oh, thanks, man. Yeah. <laughs> and America, you can support the family too. For only $19.99, you can get an official Fine Baby's Mama t-shirt. <laughs> Made entirely of recycled cotton. One size fits all, if you're all my size. <laughs> Thank you, Craig. Thank you, Dwayne. And there you have it, as a desperate family clings to hope and a stained T-shirt. The search for Nicole Aretha Barnes continues. Hey, everybody, what's going on? Hey! It's alive! It's alive! Run for the hills! Sometimes in the slide, you can feel all by yourself. When I can't turn no one else uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself When there's nobody around uh -huh. oh, yeah. I'll be there to think and then What a true love we are Maybe two gets the floor Maybe one on one uh, One on one yeah. Can't nobody break this bond uh, yeah. Maybe one on one, one, on one. Just one with just because Now we haven't found yeah. One on one yeah. One on one You were my every wish and every prayer, and I thought of you with every inch of my heart. Thank you, thank you. Now, where were you, and why did you call? Oh, sweetie, I didn't know you thought I was missing. See, after the accident, Jaden and I found a remote village near Victoria Falls. <laughs> no phones, no TV, no lights. Only our love and the monkeys to entertain us. You guys have kids already? <laughs> Very funny, Flex. Can your teeth get any bigger? <laughs> well, girl, we're all just glad you're alive. Now get rid of her. Say what? Uh, no, uh, no, no, no. Don't, don't take that the wrong way, Nicole. But you and I are still married. Let me talk to you for a minute, Flex. <laughs> if you don't want to marry the girl, just tell her. <laughs> no, Mommy, you and Daddy are still married. Which actually means we're a real family. Oh. Oh, if you excuse me, I'm about to go make fun of Spirit and her common law parents. <laughs> what is she talking about? Wow, you guys were freaking it up monkey style. <laughs> I found out that you never filed our divorce papers. Shame on you, Nicole. Flex, wait a minute. I signed those papers. I remember it like it was yesterday. Dwayne mailed them. Hey, I mailed those papers just like I did everything else for Nicole while Flex was gone. Picking up her groceries, picking up her dry cleaning. Picking up the pieces of your broken home. Hmm. Good times. <laughs> but it, it's no big deal. All we have to do is refile before a judge and it's done. This is a minor speed bump on the highway to wedding bliss. Girl, wait till you marry him. This is only the first of many bad problems. That's a thing. Just 10 minutes ago, I thought you were dead. Oh, good times. <laughs> Day 30 in the search for your mom. You're my brave little soldier. Um, Josh, my mom is back. Oh, day one in the celebration of your mom's return. Josh, for the last time, just because Arnez was macking on Ginger at Burger Hut doesn't mean she wants you back. Look, I am perfectly happy just being Brianna's friend. How would you like a nice long hamstring massage? Dog. Sure, that's guess. There's Arnaz and Ginger, look at them holding hands like Ben Affleck and Waylo. You know what, your, your hamstrings are so tight, they need some Tiger Balm. And I'm gonna go get some in Chinatown. All right. <laughs> All right, Brianna, it's been a month, your mom's back. Maybe now you're ready to hear the truth. Oh no, I see the truth. All the jelly shaking truth. <laughs> Tell her, Ginger. Tell her what really happened between us. Arnaz, please don't make me. Ginger, you have to tell her the truth. You had us sleeping together? Yes. <gasps> no! What? Arnaz, you slept with Ginger? No, no, no. I did not sleep with Ginger. Nazzy, it's out now. You don't have to lie. Arnaz, how could you? I didn't. She's lying, Brianna. No, I'm not. Remember, Arnaz? Me and you? <laughs> the couch? You know what? <laughs> I'm happy for you, too. It's the couch I'm sad for. Wait, Brianna. Arnaz, how could you? Do you know how long your mother had that couch on layaway? Well, we're here. Yeah. This is the big day. It's the biggest day of my life. We're, we're getting, getting a, a divorce. divorce. <laughs> 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 it's 
just like my birthday. No, 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 winning the lottery. The Super Bowl. <laughs> the fresh air on your face when your mama lets you out of the closet. <laughs> uh, good times. Good times. And gentlemen judge maybelline what are you doing here this is a divorce court that's what i do daily before or after oprah check your local listings now sit down it says here that you two want a divorce and you are their witness state your full legal names for the record please uh a Dwayne odell knox nicole aretha barnes uh flexter alexander barnes flexter <laughs> Yeah, you didn't think my parents would just name me Flex, did you? <laughs> uh, but Judge, you might know me as Flex Washington, WINX sports anchor, before and after Oprah check your local listings. <laughs> Cute. Today I know you as my 12 o'clock. Now it says that the two of you have been married for 17 years and you have a lovely daughter. I saw her on TV the other day with your Spanish-speaking nanny. Uh, Judge, that's my fiance, Natalie. She's half Puerto Rican. <laughs> And I'm half tired. <laughs> Mr. Knox, can you vouch for this couple? Yes, I can, Your Honor. Now, you say these two have been separated for 15 years? Uh. <laughs> uh, that is correct. In the last 15 years, have the two of them lived together as man and wife? Your Honor, we were never man and wife. We were man and beast. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I want to choke the spit out of you. We'll do what you got to do. Mr. Washington, I want order in my courtroom. Now, Mr. Knox, to your knowledge, have the two of them slept together in the last 15 years? Uh, could you repeat the question, Your Honor? Have they had sex, little man? Uh, oh, yes, Thanksgiving 2001. But, 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 but it, it was Thanksgiving, Your Honor. <laughs> You're supposed to give to those less fortunate than yourself. <laughs> Exhibit A, Your Honor. But can, can we just get a divorce now, please? Well, I could waste our time and keep asking you more questions, but it's obvious that the two of you don't get along, so I guess I could grant you a divorce. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. But not today. <laughs> State law requires you to go into marriage counseling. Oh, no, we don't need counseling. We need divorcing. Divorce. Well, you should have thought about that, Mr. Washington, before you basted your wife on Turkey Day. Josh, what's taking so long? Be on a second. Brianna, why are you doing this? This is just childish. Hey, Arnez hurt me, so I'm going to hurt him back. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. Well, what is hell hath for bratty girls? <laughs> That. Yeah, these are full trunks, Brianna, but it's not even my birthday. Yeah, but it's your half birthday. See, you're 16 and a half. Wow. You did all that in your head? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, okay, Josh, couch. Oh, is that my cake? <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you really want to upset Arnez, we should oil them up first, make them real shiny. Girl, if you don't just go. <laughs> Come in. All right, Brianna. I know what you're doing. What? Getting lost in all this fineness? <laughs> wow. This is the best half birthday ever. Brianna, I was standing right outside the door. I know all about your little plan. Well... I knew that you were standing outside the door, and I did all this to expose you for the eavesdropper that you are. Well, well I, I knew that you knew that I was standing outside the door. And, but did you know that Ginger set me up and that Josh was in on it? Right, stop it! Aren't you guys are ruining my half birthday? Josh, is this true? Look, I didn't know what she was planning when she asked me to bring it to Burger Hut. She used me. Hug. No hug. You knew exactly what Ginger was up to at Burger Hut. Brianna, make him leave. You leave. You leave. No, 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 you leave. Put your shirt on, man. Get out of here. How about both of y'all leave? I don't know who to believe anymore. Just go. Go. Hug. Look, 
therapy is a trap. Now, the best way to get through this is to get along. So this government-appointed quack will stamp our papers. You're right, you're right. So you let me do all the talking while you just sit there and wag your tail. Well, at least I'm not wearing somebody else's tail. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Don't touch my hair. Oh, my bad. I leave that to the stable boy. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Lex. Nicole. Hi. I'm Dr. Medway. Easy way to remember. Med as in I'm a medical doctor. Way as in I will show you the way. <laughs> Medway. Um, um, uh, why don't you just tell me what happened between you two? Well, we loved, we lost. Yeah. We have dinner reservations. Can you stand by divorce papers so we can be on our way? <laughs> Okay, let's try something Dr. Phil stole from me. I'd like you two to face each other eye to eye. Uh, that's gonna be hard, Doc. She's kind of cross-eyed. You know, she can watch a tennis match without moving her head. Yeah. That, is, that is not true, Dr. Matthews. I saw that, Flex. Hush, Trigger. Okay, Mr. Cut from the Clippers. Oh, that's cold. Like your jump shot. Oh, I ain't say nothing about your no, cold feet. I ain't nobody oh, saying nothing about your feet. Hey, 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 look at you two. You're, you're acting like a couple of kids. My guess is whenever you two get together, you regress back to being married teenagers. That's why you don't get along. Your relationship never grew up. Analysis. <laughs> it's kind of a trip, huh? <laughs> Nicole. I want you to share with Flex what you felt initiated the breakup of your marriage. Well, I, I never understood why Flex stopped loving me. Mm. What are you talking about, Nicole? I never stopped loving you, you know that. Flex, come on, I was left alone raising a baby by myself. And all I could think about was, what if you married me just because I was pregnant? Nicole, I married you because I loved you. The fact that you were pregnant just added shotguns to the ceremony. Oh, you see? You see, everything is a joke with him, including our marriage. Nicole, I know you don't believe me, but even though I was on the road all the time, I was still serious about our marriage. And I missed you guys. I missed holidays, I missed birthdays. I even missed my baby's first words. Where's daddy? <laughs> my family. What's wrong with your face, girl? Oh, this has never happened before. I'm leaking. <laughs> um, Flex, you never told me you missed us. Why? I don't know, Nicole. I guess I just thought you knew. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Does this look like me? <laughs> I'm Dr. Medway. <laughs> I'm just lighting in the mood. It's getting a little heavy in here, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so, so what now, Dr. Medway? Well, obviously, you two have some unfinished business. Maybe you need some room to breathe to think about it. Thought about it. <laughs> now, can you stamp our divorce paper so we can be on our way? Yeah, and you whoa, 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 whoa. Slow your roll, dog. Maryland state law says you need a one-year legal separation before a divorce can be finalized. What? Sucks, huh? It's the Maryland way, not the med way. <laughs> med way! A year? Uh, uh, it's not my fault. What do you want me to do? It's the law. Look, I'm too tall to go to jail. You know they take the big guys down first? I can't believe this. I came over here in this to celebrate my engagement with my single fiance, only to be standing here in my underwear in front of a married man. Stop staring. Natalie, it takes about a year to plan a wedding anyway. Everything is gonna be fine. I'm sorry. No, I'm the one who's sorry. I'm the one who fell in love with a guy who's still married and probably still not over his ex-wife. Oh, now you're talking crazy. <laughs> Natalie, wait, you, you can't leave like Next, this. Just let me go. I need my space. No, I know that. I just wanted to tell you that. That you don't have no clothes on. <laughs> ba, 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 boom, girl. <laughs> I'm sorry therapy didn't go as well as you planned. 
Now your mother's like a foot fungus. The more you scratch, the more you itch. Why do you hate mommy so much? Sweetie, I don't hate her. In fact, she's my best friend. You just called her fungus, daddy. It's just that she just gets me so frustrated sometimes. I mean, she knows how to get to me. No matter how many times we get together, it's the same old dance. The cabbage patch? <laughs> you know, your mother and I got together when we were about your age. And we could not get enough of each other. Now we can't take too much of each other. <laughs> you know, that's what happens sometimes. You get too serious, too young. And your relationship never grows. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think I do. Arnais, can I talk to you? Look, Brianna, I tried talking to you, but you won't listen. Look, but I need you to listen. I don't want to be like foot fungus to you. <laughs> You're supposed to be turning me on? I hope not. I just... I don't want us to get so wrapped up in each other that we can't really be friends, and I need us to be friends. So, you don't want to be my girlfriend ever? No, but I want us to be friends forever. Friends who make out all the time? <laughs> How about friends who won't grow up fighting all the time? Look, Brianna, to be honest, I've been working really, really hard at this. And truthfully, I'm tired. <laughs> so, friends. Thank you, Arnes. But you remember that whenever you decide to change your mind, my little foot fungus. <laughs> Something for the grill. Uh, yeah. All right, Dwayne, I've got to know. Now it's just me and you, friend to idiot. <laughs> Did you really mail our divorce papers? Man, man, I can't believe you don't trust your best friend. Man, yes, I mailed them. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm sorry, man. How do you want your steak? Very fresh. <laughs> Why don't you uh, call me? 